So Tomb Raider is now going woke. That's right, guys. Fans are not happy. Or I should say fans are really happy. So much so that we got articles being written. Threads are being written right now. And I gotta say, Houston, we got a bruh moment. Bruh. Tomb Raider before DEI. This is before DEI. And uh, this is uh, after DEI, guys. It'd be like that. And, and if you just spend like two seconds looking at it, you know what's going on, guys. I got a video that I want to show you. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Just like the video if you think there are more than 5,000 genders. And this is something we talked about yesterday, right? Like Star Wars Outlaws got butchered. They uh, inserted a man into like a female body. So ended up giving her like 20 pounds of testosterone. <laughs> And people are losing their mind to the point where people like this is Arthur Morgan. So man, change Arthur Arthur Morgan to Justin Bieber out here. Bruh. Like bruh, like I cannot, bro. I cannot. Everybody's like losing their mind right now. She's literally called the Tomb Raider another legacy franchise ruined. And uh, yeah, bro. Like first of all, let me show you this uh, Asmund Gold video. Like the video if you want to see woman being woman again, okay? Make woman, woman again, roll it. British adventurer Laura Croft will transition from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth as Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seek to redefine Tomb Raider. I read it as like, she's gonna transition from female to man, bro. As like that's it, what in I'm a series, in, a, translation, in order to escape its colonial past. So okay. let's go ahead and we're gonna look at that. So one of the oh, things no. that they're saying here, uh, raiding, as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories, involves going to ancient tombs and historical sites from different civilizations and acquiring artifacts. Yeah. Uh, it okay. operates under the assumption of finders keepers Keeper? and that yeah. grants raiders with the means and drive to claim ownership of the artifacts, regardless of whether they have any historical or cultural claim to the treasure. Well, that's true. It belongs in a museum, yeah. Well, yeah. it belongs in a British museum. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait for it, guys. This Wait is exactly it. what we did. Yeah, we did. How do you think all this stuff got into the British museums? <laughs> well, we went over to other places, we killed all the people there, and we took their stuff. Like, that's how it happened. And so, if this is gonna upset you, maybe just don't play a Tomb Raider game. And maybe, if, yeah. if you're gonna get that upset about it, it's like, what do you think that the game is gonna, is gonna make this okay? Like, the Vatican also? Oh, especially the Vatican. The Vatican even more, probably. Because they had the moral authority. Fuck. Later games released in this uh -oh. franchise, have started to work in addressing this by having Laura Croft uh, knowledge. acknowledge her past mistakes knowledge, oh my and man. try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes in contact with. Yeah? Bro, I cannot <laughs> express how unexcited this makes me for the game. Man, like, they, we only had, like, one, like, really good franchise that, that's to do with, like, a, that's to do with a main female protagonist, right? And that's also getting ruined! And guys, I don't want to pour salt on your wounds right now, but holy crap, we did cover this in the last video, but now that we're on the topic, guys, sit down, clench your butt cheeks, okay? Reminder, this is coming from a dev or a person that's, like, working on Tomb Raider right now. Reminder, that if you followed me for game design or politics, I'm a fury that loves sucking D. Bruh. And I'm going to post hot. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what he said here. Adjacent art of my secondary persona that I got for my birthday with appropriate filters, by the way. But it's coming and you should be prepared. What the hell is happening? You're a game dev. Okay, you want to suck a BBC, BWC, LBC, LWC, so no disrespect, some people got different, different flavors, they got different sizes, okay, you can do it, but, but you, but, but, but what the hell are we talking about here, this is a video game, <laughs> yeah, like, this is, this is, Bruh. genuine reaction right now. This is why games are turning out the way they are. I mean, no shocker. This is why everything is turning out to be... Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like, this is the most pathetic fucking stupid shit I've ever seen. Oh my god. Like, how is it that you can have games with, like, war and, like, people killing each other, but you're worried about, like, this game, like, reinforcing colonialism? What the fuck you... It's a fucking video game. If you don't want to make a game, here's the thing. Don't I hate it. whenever people take an old game and, and they say it. the premise of this game is wrong. So instead of letting it stay in the past, we're going to exhume this yeah. game's corpse from like a 20 year nostalgia sleep 
in yeah. order to turn it into something else. Why, why not make a new game? Dog, y'all still just can make a new game with all the changes you are. Why, Rune? <laughs> but they are like that. Well, we, 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 need to ch we need to change Lara to be strong, independent. It's like, now this Tomb Raider is no longer about raiding. Okay, Star Trek is no longer about trekking. Star Wars is no longer about wars. Gaming is no longer about gaming. Gaming is no longer about gaming, bro. If you want to make a game where there's some girl that's going around and uh, wh what is she doing again? Seeking truth, then go make another game. Yeah. But if you're going to make a Tomb Raider game, then it should be based off of the premise of Tomb Raider. It shouldn't be based off of a totally different premise because you find the old premise to be politically inconvenient. Yeah, yeah. Just stop making games like that. <laughs> then. Like, I, it's, it's crazy oh. to me. Th this is what I have been saying, right? Like, y'all suckers can make woke games, but do not inject, like, woke crap and all the both question games and franchises that never had that crap to begin with. That it does not need, this needs to just be a simple Tomb Raider game, bro. What the hell is going on? And when you got a dev or a person that's working on the game talking about, he's a fairy that loves sucking D, and soon enough, he's gonna be coming out, and we should be prepared what the hell are we talking about, bro? Like, what is this? The irony, yes. You're taking an old IP, you're changing. She, she about to get a nine incher down there, bro. She about to get one of the biggest uh, BBC. You, you, wait, wait for it, guys. She's gonna get a BBC yeah, down there. Because bro. of your opinions, uh, she's also worked to reform raider culture and increase the awareness of her peers. Yeah. Bro, this is like, this. what is, what the, f like, who is this for? Yeah, his EXE What bro. is this? Is for for like what, like weirdos with like some sort of like fucking internalized guilt? Raider culture? Laura no longer decorates her mantle with mythic artifacts. As a raider, she prioritizes seeking out the truth. Holy fuck. I cannot imagine how little I am excited. For yeah, nobody <laughs> asked for this. Who fucking cares? <laughs> I hope this game fails. I do. Oh, I hope it fails as an indication no. that please stop trying yeah. to inject your yeah. moral judgments on video games that don't have them in it to begin with. If you want to bring this up in a Metal Gear Solid game, I think this would be a great topic and it'd be really interesting. But Tomb Raider was never built around this. It was just built around running around, the girl being really hot, yeah. and shooting things. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Why yeah. are you changing this? Just make another game. But no, don't they, they don't want to make another game, right? And I, I said this uh, thing like in the last video, like, hey, listen, I, and I seriously am not. Dog, y'all suckers can make your own games for the Wookiees. You can make your Wookiees game. That's fine. You know? But, I, and I said that in the last video, and a lot of you guys were like, hey, bro, like, if they make woke games uh, for the Wookiees, nobody's gonna buy, or at least the, the Wookiees gonna buy, and there are very few in between, so, you know what, it's gonna be a waste of time. I, I mean, you're right, like, let's be real. This is probably why they're like, okay, let's inject that crap in the, the franchises that are, that didn't have to begin with, and let's ruin them, you know what I mean? Let's ruin them, and I'm not sure if you just caught what Asman said. Asman literally said, I want this game to fail. Obviously, he's not, he does not want to see like the actual franchise fail he want to see games fail that have all of this bull crap in it right and, and i do agree with that but but the thing here is this that nowadays gamers are asking for games to be uh to to fail essentially you feel what i'm saying obviously like he want the game to fail because they are making this for not even their fan base, so I understand where he's coming from, but it's like one of those things that we're really now getting to the point, and, and gamers are universally agreeing that, yeah, I hope this fails. I, I'm pretty sure you, most of you guys are gonna say the same as well if you're not woke, so you're gonna be saying the same because, like, everybody had enough, right? But it's like, we really, did, we really got to the point now that we, we are like, okay, you know what, whatever, bro, let the game fail right now, we don't care about it. it it's genuinely sad. Steal the IP and then co-opt it to push your fucking agenda. It's so... Oh my god. Yeah, it's... What it's, is this? They're changing the name to Truth Seeker now, right? No, because they want to keep the... They want to make the money off of Tomb Raider. And it's like, again, and this is like, this is what I think the funniest fucking thing about it is. Is that this is the epitome of, um, you know, in my opinion, I'll say it because I'm, I'm part of it. Uh, it is white guilt, woke, like, slacktivism. 
Yeah! What? What? Did he just say that? Did he just say that? Canceling Asmund Gold right now. These people have no problem capitalizing on Tomb Raider, which by extension capitalizes on the, this is through their own logic. So they have no problem capitalizing on Tomb Raider, which capitalizes on colonialism. So if you're too afraid to make a new game and you have to capitalize on a game that capitalizes on colonialism, you're still doing it. This yeah. is like all the people that talk about, oh, well, we're living on stolen land. Well, then give it back. Give it back. If that's the way you feel about it, give it back. Yeah, nobody want to get. <laughs> Once I got your money, I don't want to give it back. It's like one of those things, right? Nobody's gonna give the land back. And it's like, could you imagine, guys, if Nintendo was an American company, they would even make Mario no longer be Italian. <laughs> This is this is truly where we going right now. Like holy crap! Like you look at this art, it's like, what did they do? What did they do to Tomb Raider? She got buff arms. She got buff arms, and the mommy milkers are probably gonna be nerfed as well, bro. And she's gonna be shooting like water guns uh, soon enough. I mean, they're probably not gonna do that like in the next game, but in the next next game, she's gonna have water guns, bro. Like, get out. Go back to fucking, uh, you know, the Netherlands or Germany or wherever the fuck your family came from 300 years ago and get the fuck out. Because I am so sick of this shit. It is exhausting for me to hear this. And this is, again, these are people uh -oh. who are not willing to make a new game that yeah. tries to, like, I guess... She gonna get a BBC, Create though. a new direction of the genre to go in. They're they want to co-opt the money. That okay, she, they're gonna give her, not him. What am I even saying? Like, yeah, pronouns? <laughs> I'm not sure, man. Yeah, what are her pronouns? They're probably gonna give her pronouns. Uh, uh, she, they, do not disrespect my pronouns. Yeah, so, go queen. Uh, they, yeah, let's just say that, I Bruh. guess. Uh, <laughs> This is absolutely insane, bro. Yeah, watch her get a BBC. They're gonna- this thing is gonna get a BBC. Uh, give her a BBC, bro, like... ...that the old game will make them, while at the same time, capitalizing on the same exact thing that they're trying to avoid, and they're trying to preach against. It's so fucking hypocritical. And it's astonishing, and this is- I, I'm so- These are the people who changed their flag to the current thing. They change it, you know, like, for example, well, they'll change, like, they'll the change LGBT. it to the pride flag or yeah. to the transgender flag. But yeah. if they run an account that's in the Middle East, they oh, don't yeah. change it to that because they don't want to lose money. Because yeah. they don't really care about any... Oh, yeah, 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 you do that, bro, like, your entire game studio canceled there. And, oh, yeah, rightfully so, because they don't want that crap being on their own, uh, like, citizens, right? So it's like, no, bro, there's no, like, we don't want that. This company knows that. This is why they're not gonna do it there, because if they do it there, they're gonna pull out, lose money there, and, and that's it. And these com these companies and these things don't wanna lose money. They're just pandering. They're just pandering. They don't even care. They don't even care about their fans, dog. They don't even care about you if you're uh, if you're identifying as LGBT. They they really don't care about you. Have these issues? They just care about being seen as a person who cares about these issues. It's pathetic. I'm so tired of these. Technically, they do lose money here. Like you know, it's like one of those Bud Light kind of situation. But you know, they're not gonna get shut down here. But if they were to do it in the Middle East, like they're gonna get shut down. Then there's like no money for you. Uh, and they got ESG here, BlackRock, and all that crap. So, yeah. But why? Why do it though? You know, what I mean, like why go this route? And especially like Tomb Raider. We're not talking about like the flags or anything. Uh, this is even beyond that. Like, these things are literally changing the franchise here. Like, why do that? Make another franchise and then do that crap in it, right? Why do this? Like, you're, like, alienating your fan base right now. Okay, I, right now I'm not even talking about the flags, so... You know, they, it's like, okay, you guys could have had flags and you could have had, like, the real game. Obviously, people would still have a problem uh, with it, rightfully so, I understand. Because it's not, like, just a flag thing. It has been ongoing for a longest time and it's like how many franchises uh, and I'm talking like both g uh, games movies uh, how many of movies uh, movies have been butchered like <laughs> you know race swap gender change just for the sake of it right a whole lot of bull crap in it stories not making sense no more games and movies now being unrelatable to uh, straight people as well it it's it's like I yeah like 
I cannot count right now. I cannot. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. So, of course, people are gonna have a problem. If this was only, like, happening, for example, like, in one or two movie out of ten movies, one or two games out of ten games, yeah, I mean, nobody would really care about it. But now it's, like, <laughs> happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere. So, people obviously just don't want that. And people had enough. And I understand uh, uh, where people are coming from. People. They're infesting everything, and they're doing Literally. it for their own ego because they're they're embarrassed to be who they are. They live their whole life in shame and guilt, and they want everybody else to carry the same cross. What's going on? How is this? How did the inmates take over the asylum? It's crazy. Just make a new game. What are you cancer? It is. It's so bad. Did oh he? my god! What? They've literally never played a Tomb Raider game. I mean, I don't really give a fuck Preach. about Tomb Raider games either, but I think that they should be authentic to what the game used to be. People's feelings are more important than objective scientific truths. People's feelings are more important. Bruh. Again, these are people who have no problem... They have no problem making money off of things that... Yeah. I don't care. He said, I don't care about Tomb Raider games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's fine though. Like, listen, I also don't care about Tomb Raider games uh, on that level, but I do care about Tomb Raider games uh, for one reason. For only one reason. And these guys are going to give her a BBC and then it's like nobody's going to care about Tomb Raider. <laughs> you know, they would oh, criticize man. a million times, but as soon as they, uh, as soon as they start you know, doing their own thing, they do the exact thing that they criticize because they don't really care about any of this stuff. Facts. All they're looking for is a way that to make themselves seem virtuous and good. On the internet and in culture nowadays, it's more important to look good than to be good. So nobody cares about the actual actions a person takes. They only care about what the optics of those actions are. It's all fake, And that, bro, the right? reason why that happens is because there are a lot more people that are lazy and stupid and selfish than people that are selfless and useful and motivated to try to do a good thing. So what all of the lazy, stupid, and selfish people do is they collectively create a culture that is built around self-aggrandizement of doing nothing and then taking pride in it while simultaneously benefiting from the thing that you say that you hate it's he's spitting though he he, he definitely be spitting right now he, he's spitting man houston we got more than just a brown moment houston i think we houston i think we need to drop a new percentage like, th this is really getting out of hands right now. How many franchises, guys, we have seen be destroyed? A and, okay, like like I was t talking about, right? And Cyberpunk is one of those games that's that's actually has, like, a lot of the LGB representation. And guess what? Nobody had a problem with it because it made sense. And it did not push agendas down their people's throats. There's so many characters in the game that are LGB, but people think are straight. You want to know why people think they're straight? Because they didn't, like push that crap down their player's throat. And magically what happens? Nobody has a problem with it. People love uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, I I'm one of the guys that actually liked the story, although like in the beginning, obviously like the game was bad. Uh, I'm not talking, uh, without its unfinished uh, state, uh, without that state in which it launched in the beginning, without all of that bullcrap, it's a solid game. Even I have to admit, right? And guess what? They didn't really push that crap down anybody's throat. It's it's a game where it made sense, so they did it, right? And and back then we only had like one or two game having crap like that. Now it's like everywhere, and, and they 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 are literally destroying franchises. If you were to make one game that's uh, from scratch that's woke, yeah, whatever, right? I'll, I would have more respect for you than you actually trying to push this crap down my and everybody throats uh, and, and ruin classic franchises that does not need to be ruined it's so pathetic it is so fucking pathetic oh my god oh my god holy shit you talking yeah, about the streamers right now like, yeah. <laughs> you could be and i'd agree with you make a different game and not keep the tomb raider yeah exactly yeah, like... It's just so embarrassing. Let's read some of the but they, comments. But, nope. but they know nobody's gonna buy, so... No one asked for this. May I inquire if this is official language or not? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Colonial Past. Oh, the cringe. Exactly. 
And uh, it sounds like it's, it's ready for its own tomb. Yeah, there you fucking go. Like, like for me, I would never buy a game if I felt like it was doing this. And I really wish that more people would do the same thing. Stop buying games that are trying to retcon the, the yeah. quality and the content of the game just for 100%. their own uh, ego. 100%. It's yeah. so sad. And, and I'm not sure if you guys actually saw this or not, but literally, like, Activision did one of the most pathetic thing you can ever imagine. It's both sad and hilarious. At this point, it's really hilarious, dog. Click on this video on the screen, check it out. I swear to God, man, you're gonna love it. On the left, though, we got another one of those uh, situations going down as well, guys. Uh, check out these videos, and I'll see you right there.